Okay guys, well I'm on the 2082 again today. Uh, I figured I'd cover some of the other things I forgot in the video I did about this. Um, on your left over here you have your parking brake, which also pushes down the left steering brake. Unless you have this little lever on the back, locked into both, then it pulls down all the brakes. Right steering brake, left left steering brake. As you can see, I still have the foot rust off because I'm still trying to get the lift shaft out. Hopefully, I'll get it out one day and fix the bushing in the frame. Um, as you can see down here underneath the seat. Pull this this way, and your seat moves. There's a chain in behind the seat, so I can't move it. Uh, is there anything else I forgot? On order to angle blade, you pull this, you push the, uh, I have the vice grips on there for more leverage. Uh, you pull, pull it out, it pulls that rod which pulls the pin out, and then whenever you push this back and forth, it moves the blade. I'll start it and show you. So as you can see, the blade is straight right now. Okay, I'll try and do this one-handed. See, it's angled. See, right now, with this straight back, can't move the blade. They can push this out. It's very hard to do this one-handed while holding the camera. Push this out pull back and angle the blade. Maybe I'll see if I can't do a little bit of grading with this while I have it out. Well, I forgot to mention our steering wheel also tilts. Push that button in, you can adjust the steering wheel. I like to keep it up high because then it's almost flat and you can palm the wheel. Okay, back to my objective. Try and drive this thing one handed, it should be a lot of fun. I guess hopefully you guys can hear me. Still getting used to this new Camry yet, I don't know if I like it or not. It's a lot better than what I was using before. I was just recording off the uh, webcam on my laptop, which I didn't really want to admit to, but it gives pretty good quality considering. We're going to see if I can't do a little grading around the puddle down here. Slow it down some more. This hill is really steep. See if we can't find a good place for the camera here. This is around the uh, upper, I don't know if I want to call it a pond or a puddle. Mainly it catches the ashes that run down from the road. Otherwise it'll end up the whole way down in the lower mud hole down there. This berm right here is just all ashes that I've caught over the years. Sometimes I haul them up and that's what my road's made out of in front of the barn up there. So let's see if I can't find a place for the camera.
As you can see, this puddle's pretty deep. So let's see if I can get back on the bracket. Alright, I'm gonna hit it. Okay, about halfway up the plane. See if we can get back out of here. because I never had Zoom before, but... Thanks. 
do stop it somewhat. Fix the hydro out of gear anyway. in this camera is kind of jacked. So I noticed in some of my videos it looks like I've tried turning the brightness down in the movie in the Windows Movie Maker editor but it really doesn't seem to help too much so it must be the camera. This is really sensitive to light, too. Yeah, it doesn't like looking into the sun. That's him. basically back to where we started. Now that was where we started. Look at that weirdo. Now he's looking at me funny. gonna ask me if we're recording. <laughs> yeah, there'll probably be a lot edited out of this video. I don't know. Got the onions weeded some over here where I just mowed. I don't know. We had a heck of a rain yesterday. We got like two inches in 20 minutes. A little tree, ooh, excuse me, fell down. Cut it up a little bit with a chainsaw. So, anyways, guys, it's probably gonna be a long and boring video. Maybe I'll put it up. Maybe I won't. Thanks for watching. <laughs>